Hi there, this is Andrew from Hot Tub Focus and today we're going to look at um, TDS levels, total dissolved solids levels in your hot tub and what should your TDS level be in your hot tub? Well, the simple answer to that question is that if your TDS levels are uh, 1,500 parts per million or above, then it is time to change your water. How do you test for this? Well, you can buy TDS test strips and you can also buy very inexpensive electronic TDS testers, both of which you just dip in the water. The tester will give you a fairly inst an instant readout of what your, what, what, what your parts per million, your TDS level is. Your test strip, you need to compare it with something on the side of the pot. Uh, Price-wise, there's not a lot in them. The te te electronic, test, uh, electronic TDS testers are very cheap um, and will last for a long time a tub of uh, test strips are about the same price and will probably last for about the same amount of time as well as long as you keep them dry um they'll last for years um i would go electronic it's just to be quicker and easier i think probably you need to buy a battery for it but you know it's fairly straightforward what does it mean well it's total dissolved solids is what tds stands for which is basically all the gunk and, and organic matter that comes off you and everybody else that goes into your hot tub. It's, it's dead skin, it's sweat, it's urine, it's everything disgusting that you can think about. Um, it's little bits of dirt that have flown in, it's everything, it's gross gunk basically. Um, and essentially your water, no matter what you do, eventually will become saturated with that to the point that your filtration system can't really deal with it, possibly because it's so tiny anyway. Um, and also that uh, your sanitizer can't actually really effectively work anymore. So you're going to get green water, you're going to get smelly, cloudy water, foamy water, etc, etc, probably with a high TDS level, as well as the fact that actually your water won't be properly sanitized and it will be dirty. It won't look it probably, but it might have a slight, might slightly be, just look slightly off. Um, more modern hot tubs have better filtration systems. You can go longer without changing the water. If you're really fastidious about showering before you go into your hot tub, you can go longer without your TDS levels getting too high and having to change the water. But eventually you're going to have to change your water. Now this, the average is supposed to be between three and four months. Um, that will entirely depend on how much usage your hot tub gets, how old your hot tub is, how good the filtration system is, how much you wash before you go in, etc, 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 if you leave the lid on. Um, but the point is that once you get to 1500 parts per million, then you do need to, whatever, however long you've been using the hot tub for, you do need to change the water. There's not really any alternative other than changing your water. If, for example, you get a, a problem with your water and you really desperately need your hot tub the next day for a hot tub party or something similar, you've got something planned, you could maybe get away with a partial, partial drain and refill and, and a shock. It will dilute the total dissolved solids in the water and maybe get you out of a sticky situation for a week or so. But but you really have to. If you have a TDS level of 1500 parts per million or higher, then you need to change your water. OK, well, I hope that's been helpful. And uh, there's a lot more information on this by linking by clicking on the link below, which is the blog post that explains all this. Uh, if you'd like to hear more about um, hot tub maintenance, care, etc., then click on subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you in another video soon. Thanks then. Bye bye.